This corset is so tight. It's like a corset in the back, like right here, but it's a zipper on the side. Is it this? It's one of these sides. But isn't this cute? I've had this for the longest <laughs> from the Moschino Barbie collection, and I've been meaning to wear it because because I'm working on my own stuff, I want my doll to have the exact same stuff I have, so I'm like, you have to wear that at some point. So I decided, now, I don't know how to like put chicken cutlets in, so I use some socks. And baby, this is so uncomfortable. Like I don't, I have a new, every time I do something, I have a new found respect for women because just the uncomfortable things that y'all go through to look pretty. I only have to do this for now. I don't have to do this forever. Thank God. No, my hair. Now you guys know, it, I don't know when y'all gonna be getting this, but Valentine's Day is either around the corner or it's here. Okay, or you might be watching this way after the fact and it's Valentine's Day 2021. I don't know But as you guys can see my hair is pink, but it's not one pink. It's two pinks So this line here in the middle is not your eyes are not deceiving you. I had did my hair down the middle uh, In two different colors. I used okay, so I use for The lighter side is this adore which is 190 cotton candy and I've used this before, but I don't remember as to what I used it on. Um, and then this one is the darker pink is the Electric Paradise from Arctic Fox. And it's really hard to get the color. I think it's coming up correctly on camera. I believe that I'm being done justice on camera. So what I did was I did it down the middle. So I uh, parted my hair from this part back. Uh, well back to the side so I did the first front two separate colors and then once we went down the back I added I switched the colors on each side so I didn't necessarily do a checkered board I just did it to where I knew I was gonna curl my hair like this and when curling I wanted you to still see the lighter pinks the lighter pink within here now I did have the want to style it in a middle part but after I put these pin curls in and it came out it started becoming very Marilyn Monroe, like very, um, uh, you know, James Mansfield, that whole thing, and very coochie, coochie, coochie. So I was like, just go ahead and let her be big and let her be ridiculous. And I've been watching James Mansfield's videos, which um, she was on Drag Race and does, out of drag, he does really, really great um, how to wig videos and I've been watching them and he does like a lot of big hair so I used that I went and got that Conair brush and it worked to smooth this on out because you guys know when you get your hair and then it's really flat and then you put all this volume in it you want to smooth it to a nice nice little situation now this is the third it's either the third this just feels so weird <laughs> Um, this is the third, second or third time I've had pink hair. I had it um, with this actual outfit on with a skirt. I had it, I'll put them somewhere in here. I had that pink and then I had, no that wasn't even pink. That was, that was actually blonde with dark roots. Which I really need to redo those pictures because I would prefer it to be a pure, a pure blonde, you know. Um, and I was paying homage with this big ass mole. I had a lighter pink for my birthday one year. I know for a fact that that was pink, but that might have been the only time. I've done like pink streaks and stuff here, but I haven't had like pink hair because I feel like for me, because I love Barbie, it's so cliche to do. So I try to do things that are very away from that so it just doesn't seem so obvious but obviously pink is my color girl um the only thing because this is a is this a full lace no this is a lace front uh unit and 13 by 6 the only downside is this is not hd lace so i really don't like how this looks because it's only so much you can really do 
um, to get it to really lay how you want to without giving it a lot of work. I don't want to put that much work into something that I'm going to take off. Um, this is my what I call my drag show hair. This is not my everyday hair. Um, the parting just is beautiful. Like, oh, the parting space in this is great. The I wish the wig was a smidget. Thicker. I don't know what density this is. I'll put it in the link below. I'm not really sure what the density is to this. Um, but I wish it was a little bit fuller because, again, after you cut layers into the front portion of it, this has the most volume. So this sometimes just feels a little bit like if I cut this off and turn this into um, like a page boy or a very, very Maryland uh, short look. But... I didn't get any shedding. I had no problems with that. I had no problems with the depositing of the color because you could definitely, I was afraid they were gonna be too close in color where you will be able to see the difference. Uh, you wouldn't be able to see the difference in uh, pinks, but I, I like to have the part here and then all of the color is up underneath here and you can see it throughout the entire thing. I think that's really stupid cute. And this is a nice little, this is a way to keep it classy. Like if you and your man go out and you want, or your girl, whatever you you choose boo okay whatever you into them with it um go out and you want to do something that's like for what it is which is valentine's day without being cliche i didn't want to do my hair to be pink and red that's what I didn't want because it's so overdone. You see it so much. You see it repetitively done every single year and there's nothing new to it. You know, Valentine's Day is a representation of love and we think love, we think of in love, romance, pink. So I'm like, just use two separate pinks. I'm happy it turned out this way because I didn't know what was gonna happen. But I am actually happy that it turned out this way. And I'm happy these pin curls, like this is a lot of volume and usually I don't get this much a volume in my hair unless it's been sitting for a minute minute you know what i'm saying but i do love this cotton candy pink and i really do love this electric paradise i was scared that the pinks were going to be so different that it just looked weird like you use a pastel color and then you use a super bright neon color and they just don't go but they came out great I, every time i look at my hair i think of um you know you get those valentine's candies the heart ones that's what i'm thinking about right now every time i see this so again, Elur hair, we just did Chucky, and I told them I wanted to do this, and they was like, oh, we have the perfect hair for you for this. And I, I really have been missing a nice glamorous like, bottom. I wish I had some bottom lashes, because I feel like that would have just set her off, but I ain't had the time. I have bottom lashes, I just didn't feel like putting them on. Um, so yeah, Elur hair. Keep up the good work, but it's just because I just came off, I think like two or three HD lace wigs. I was like, ah, oh, she's not blending so effortlessly the way I want to. I've gotten spoiled where I don't want to do all the work no more. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. Make sure you guys like this video. Apparently it does something. So make sure you guys like, check to see if you still subscribe because youtube be tripping man they be on some old haterness they the hateration in this dancery that we call a job is something else man oh shopping dropping and all that okay <laughs> i'll catch y'all in my next